With the support from the Chinese Agricultural Mission, foundation work began last week on approximately 2,000 square feet of land in preparation for the full construction fees. The lab, donated by the People's Republic of China, will provide disease-free plantlets to farmers through micropropagation techniques. Nigel Gibbs, supervisor of propagation at the Merigo Propagation Station, explains that the facility will help boost production as the ministry aims to address crop shortages in specific areas. But then things that are easy to do by tissue culture, the tanias, the dashings and so on, um, even the sweet potatoes, the pineapples, those are quite easy to do and we do um, have a lot of cultivars to establish germplasm and to have um, a repository or a, a safe place for germplasm when there is an impending threat. The tissue culture facility would, would, would suffice for all of these um, functions. Um, so there can be an easy transition um, from stored plants and of course we could keep them in culture for between say one to three years. With most of the equipment already on island, Gibbs stated that the project is expected to be completed by February 2025. The tissue culture lab is something that is critically important for the propagation of plants um, and, and it really targets micropropagation and the aim here is to provide disease-free plantlets for the farmers. The significance of the lab going forward now and, and is very timely um, because we got um, impacted by hurricane burial. Um, we do need to have mass propagation of different crop types, different species. The lab brings a new perspective to agriculture and presents opportunities for job creation. Gibbs notes that this will allow aspiring agriculturists to view the field in a different light. Else we are constructing a new lab, of course there would be a call for technicians. And so we are expecting now because there is a tendency for the younger population to shy away from agriculture. So I'm, I'm sending, I'm making this clarion call for um, the people in agriculture, the agriculture science students, the biology, the chemist students, the mathematician, the physicists among our secondary school, our TAM CC population, and even our SGU population. This is an avenue for employment um, because we will be looking for highly specified, highly trained people, and of course training will be a continuous thing, but we will need people who are capable of working in an environment like that. And Christina John, GBN News.